This part of Texas is as flat as an armadillo crossing I-10. But you'd never believe that a mere 30 minutes down the road sits, wait for it, the second largest canyon in the United States. Welcome to Paladuro Canyon. And the best place to experience its beauty is right here inside Paladuro Canyon State Park. All right, so this is Park Ranger Mark Hassel, and we are standing up here on the rim of Paladuro Canyon. This is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good work. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think people know that something this beautiful or this dramatic is up here in the Texas Panhandle. How big is the canyon itself? The canyon stretches a little over 100 miles. They say 110. It's 20 miles wide out of its mouth. And then it runs, oh, up to maybe 1,200 feet deep at, at its deepest end. People don't realize that this is the second largest canyon in the United States. Second only to the to the Grand Canyon. Of course, everything's second to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> sure. So how, how long has this been here? The actual canyon itself in the last 100,000 years, it started cutting you know, a million years ago on the on the east side of the Cap Rock. About half the material you see in this park actually came from the Austin area. You know, back in the Triassic Age, the uplift was down to the southeast of us and the rivers came this way, so they brought all the material this way, so. Wow, <laughs> now we're pushing it back now that way. Now we're pushing it back that way. Interesting, <laughs> that's interesting. Well, however it's moved through, I mean, it has made some amazing formations and the beautiful colors you see here on the canyon floor. This is, this is incredible. Definitely one of the most beautiful places in Texas. You know, maybe you're looking for an experience with nature on a hike or horse ride, or maybe you're looking to learn about the human experience in Paladuro when Comanches, Kiowas, and Apaches roam the canyon, followed by cattle drives and cowboy hideouts. Or maybe, just maybe, you're like me and can't miss the opportunity to mountain bike some of the park's 40 miles of trails. That's part of my definition of heaven on earth. These trails are by far the best way to leave the roads behind and disappear into the heart of the canyon to see the many peaks and cliffs up close. All right, and the next stop on the Paladuro tour is Capitol Peak. I have no idea if you can hike it, but if I had a lot of days in the canyon, I guarantee you I would try. It's so cold out here that there's literally still snow on the ground in the shadows. Snow in Texas? Yep, I guess anything's possible out here in the Panhandle. But this three mile bike ride isn't just to ride, but to visit the most famous formation in the park. There's the lighthouse. Just a little bit further, and it looks like I have to hike the rest of the way, right up that trail. I seriously expected the easy route, but the canyon is making me work for it. But usually, with great work comes great reward, and I know this will be. And there it is, one of the most iconic natural formations in Texas, and standing over 300 foot tall, including its base. I've seen lots of sights in Texas. This is one of the prettiest. Standing below the lighthouse makes the six mile round trip to get here well worth it. Thank you, Lord making Texas such a beautiful place. And I can now tick this off of my Texas bucket list, but I'll definitely be back. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.